What was so old that it became part of our history might actually become new again. Today, Senator Mark Warner announced more than $3 million is heading to Suffolk for the rebuilding of the King's Highway Bridge. 10 on your side's Brett Hall joins us with where the new bridge will be built. Regina, before we go forward, we go back. This is a picture of the old King's Highway Bridge. It connected Driver and Chuckatuck over the Nansman River for nearly 80 years. It's been gone now for nearly two decades, but growth in western tidewater, they're now seeing a lot of it. And it has even Washington, D.C. seeing the need for a modern return. Three million dollars for the city of Suffolk. Applause, my name. Three million dollars, an amount we'd all like to see on a check. But in the case of those who live along the banks of the Nansman River between North and downtown Suffolk, it's the payoff they might have even written off 17 years ago. We never believed that a bridge would just be shut down with nothing. When the original King's Highway Bridge was torn down, nothing was built because the state says Suffolk couldn't figure out what they wanted at the time. Today... As far as done deals are concerned, I think that is the decision that has been made as to where to locate the bridge. Instead of retracing the original path back to Chuckatuck, the new bridge would pick up King's Highway and Driver and head towards Five Mile Road off Godwin Boulevard in Suffolk. Mayor Mike Duman says this is the alignment a majority of the community is in favor of because it will help keep traffic out of the village of Chuckatuck. So unless something drastic changes, that will be the plan. But it's money Senator Mark Warner delivered today that will pay for the work to make sure the project can be done. This you know, bridge will help not only 58, it'll provide a little bit of relief in terms of 664, and you know, there's additional roads in the region. You know, it, it's not a silver bullet, bullet that's going to solve all the problems. It is still a, a rural road, um, but it will relieve some of the congestion on, on some of the adjacent roadways. All in all, it could cost $186 million to complete. That check is what still needs to be found. Now, because of that point, we have no completion timeline for you, but the hope is that the preliminary studies paid for by the money Warner brought today could be done at the end of the year and then looking for funding and start from there. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.